How about a uh, nice book of welcome for Howard Joffe, the women's tennis coach here at University of Texas. Good to have you with us, Howard. Thank you for dropping by tonight. Uh, thanks for having me, Craig. All right, I'm, I'm going to end the suspense right here and tell folks why Howard is unique in a different way more so than any other uh, Texas coach. It's because he has also served as a head coach at Texas A&M. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's quite a contrast, as many have pointed out over the years, between College Station and Austin, isn't there? Uh, there's no question. I think uh, just sitting here earlier, uh, Coach Strong talked about his experience at Louisville and then, <clears throat> excuse me, in Austin. And the coaching uh, 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 journey has taken me to... Um, you know, big metropolitan cities like Los Angeles. I was at USC as my first job. Um, and then small college towns like Miami of Ohio is in Oxford. And then, of course, uh, Texas A&M out in College Station. So uh, definitely a different pace of life. I also was the coach at University of Maryland. So uh, big DC area. Um, definitely a, a, a very uh, different um, sensibility. Uh, in terms of uh, the city. Well, and if you didn't know what Howard's done in the same position the last four seasons in College Station, he coached the Aggies to their best finish in school history in 2013 when they advanced to the NCAA title match. They also tied for the SEC title as well and led the Aggies to top 10 final rankings in three of his four seasons in College Station. Has an overall record of 83 and 23 at AM, and and three of his Aggies earned four All-America honors during his time there. So, you'd had all of the success, all of these things going so well in College Station. What appealed to you about the University of Texas? I think, um, you know, the, uh, there's always a ton of things if you ask a recruit why they uh, choose to go somewhere, but um, I mean, primarily two things. Obviously, um, the brand name of the University of Texas, uh, the Texas Longhorns, um, just is a stellar name. Um, and I think in terms of um, my career going forwards, um, I was fortunate enough to enjoy some success uh, while I was at A&M. But I think uh, for sustained success over a long period of time, I think that um, being a, you know, a Longhorn and being at the University of Texas, certainly in the... I mean, I, I would say in all sports, but since I'm supposedly an expert in tennis, I would say in the sport of women's tennis, there's no question um, it's a much better spot to be. Um, and then separate and apart from that, of course, is what you hinted at your first question, which is uh, being in the city of Austin. Um, I grew up in a big metropolitan city in Johannesburg, South Africa. I, I started to say, this clearly is not a college station accent. And it's Lubbock. That you're <laughs> Lubbock. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and, and so just in terms of sort of my upbringing and stuff, I think I just inherently would feel more comfortable in, in uh, living, uh, you know, in a city like Austin. Uh, we mentioned, obviously, that Howard is a native of Johannesburg. You played three years of collegiate tennis at Pepperdine, played a few years of pro tennis as well. You mentioned coaching at Maryland. You'd been an assistant coach at USC. You finished your undergraduate degree in psychology. How much psychologist does a tennis coach need to be? Oh, I think uh, I was listening uh, keenly to what Coach Strong had to say about uh, your questions about um, the, I guess the English is the angst that players have in terms of performing and, um, and so forth. And so um, there's no question that, um, you know, the two critical items, uh, you know, in coaching these sports are, you know, recruiting players because you can't win games without you know, a, a fine athletes and then coaching and manage them, managing them, which is the psychology part, in such a way that, um, that they can perform or at least approximate performing at where, where they ought to. Did you, did you feel, even as you finished your undergraduate work with a degree in psychology, that you would ever be using it, so to speak, as a coach? In a practical in, sense, In yeah. a practical sense, in, in appealing to student athletes? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I, I think a lot of times um, people uh, fall into their careers. In this instance, coaching. Uh, coaching is a very uh, other-oriented career. You have to be very aware of um, the, the uh, uh, not to be disparaging using the word kids, but right. the, 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 the kids be aware of what they're feeling, how they're doing, and so forth, because um, if you are able to be in touch with that, uh, you can you know, bring out the best in them and instruct them and advise them and so forth. So um, I, I think it was a logical, uh, a, a logical major, but 
um, certainly I would not call myself any Sigmund Freud. <laughs> All right. Howard Jaffe is with us. We're going to talk about his Texas women's tennis team coming up as we continue live from Pluckers, the West Campus location, when Longhorn Weekly continues in a moment. And, and in your time in, in dealing with student athletes, there is quite a bit of a difference between an upperclassman and a freshman when they first come in. But after a while, it all kind of melds together if they're successful, doesn't it? I think so. I mean, I think that um, fundamentally in terms of sort of skills and performing um, in the sport of women's tennis, if you just turn on the television, you'll see um, people winning, um, you know, Wimbledon and so forth at the uh, crazy ages like 16 and 18. Um, your question about the student athlete, I think that is the big challenge is as freshmen um, learning the, the, the skills and so forth to um, uh, negotiate time and, and the studying and the work and so forth and with the passage of time they become more comfortable but just in terms of um, certainly in our sport um, the freshmen you know very often perform just as well as seniors so uh, in that respect um, it's a little bit of a unique sport. Howard Jaffe, Texas women's tennis coach, joining us during this portion of the program. Okay, you have five returning players for the 2015-2016 squad, including a two-time All-America in Brianna Addison, a former Big 12 Player of the Year. So that's a good place to start, isn't it? Um, it is. There's no, no question. I mean, I think that uh, whenever a new coach uh, comes in whatever sport it is, it's, it's usually very often... Um, because there's been problems of sorts and so forth. Um, th there's no question, though, um, that the nucleus of the team that we have is very talented. Um, Brianna uh, had been to the final four of the NCAA individual tournament in 2013, and so obviously we'll uh, look to her to be a, a leader and a sort of, so, sort of a, 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 a top performer for us. But um, without question, this team um, has got a ways to go. Um, and um, part of my charge at the moment is to uh, fill out the roster and get uh, another two or three players uh, to join our roster, hopefully at uh, the semester in January. Um, and I think if uh, I do my job, uh, we should be uh, set and ready to go um, for the, the spring season. Is there a specific uh, formula, because of the many places that you've been, that you have seen the formula work for formula for success, like the success you have in College Station. There's a, a an unshakable truth or something that you have to have in order to make your program successful, no matter where you are. I think um, I'm probably not that smart, but um, you know, I often hear, and I'm a very casual football fan. Things like the the, the, the East Coast offense, the West Coast offense. Everyone's got a system, and to me, uh, the as soon as there's a system, there's a way around the system, and so to me. Um, my system, if you will, is just common sense, is find the, the very best players you can, um, whose characters uh, can, can, can gel and uh, be on a team, um, because it is a, ultimately a, a, a team sport, um, and coach them and invest in them um, a, a, as much as possible, and on that basis, um, the team should succeed. But um, definitely not a guy for particular types of players and, and systems per se. Uh, just try to match up uh, the Longhorn strength versus the opposition weakness, and uh, that's, that's how we'll you know, do our best. When you're recruiting and you're, you're watching different players out there, what is it you look for in a student athlete more than anything else. Is it that intelligence level as well as the skill that obviously has to accompany that? I, I think this. I think um, in the sport of tennis, unlike football or basketball, um, you have to play the entire match. In other words, you start the match and you've got to finish the match. Um, you can't go in and throw two touchdowns and then sit on the sidelines. And so um, in the recruiting, obviously results speak uh, uh, fortunes about um, how good or not the player is, the skills, the ability to win. But um, the, the character part is the interesting part, is to watch folks um, perform under stress. Because, uh, you know, with three beers at Pluckers, I, I'm even a nice guy, right? <laughs> um, but uh, a lot of these kids, when they're in a, a battle, you know, in the third set, and things are getting a little grisly, that's when uh, some of the, you know, character stuff shows up. And so, to answer your question, just obviously a combination of, of, of strength of player um, in whatever style, but also 
a character that handles himself well uh, in difficult situations. You know, when I asked you about uh, your your roster and you talked about recruiting, wanting to fill out the roster with some more uh, players as well, some some uh, student athletes to help fill out the rosters. Is that one of the things that appealed to you about this position that you could that you knew that you were going to have to get some players to come in, but that you could you might be able to mold it and shape it at a very early start in your time here in Austin because you knew you were going to need some numbers. With insight like that, Craig, um, you ought to be in the coaching game. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the bottom line is that um, uh, one of the very uh, unappealing things uh, about taking this job was the fact that the roster is not complete and it's been decimated. Um, but your question hints at uh, the opposite, which is true as well. Um, when there's great, uh, uh, there's also great opportunity with having so few players on the roster. Um, the ability to bring in very good players um, uh, 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 actually presents the opportunity to turn the team around very quickly. So, um, you know, it's it's scary because it's late in the game, and and so we we need to find the players, and yet. Um, I think the opportunity is there to do this uh, rather quickly. I've been, you know, very lucky, a little like the Inspector Clouseau. At a and in my second year, we went to the national championship match uh, after having a team that was ranked like 40th. And at Maryland, the same thing in the second year. The hope here is that there are enough open spots that can make a significant difference and we get players in that can, you know, bring the Longhorns back to the top uh, in, the, in, the, in the women's college tennis. You uh, open up fall tournament play next weekend, the Rice Invitational to Houston. What are you looking to see out of your group? More, more than anything, I mean, uh, uh, it's a team that uh, is a little depleted and uh, is coming off a difficult year. And so more than anything, I'm just looking for um, some passion, um, some vim, some vigor, some fight. Um, some substance and some grit. Um, the, the results as, with the passage of time will take care of themselves. As you hinted, we, we do have some very fine athletes and some very fine players, and I expect by the time the season gets started, um, it will show up in the results for sure. Howard, pleasure to, to get a chance to visit with you. Appreciate you dropping by. Thanks so much. Thanks right. a lot. Howard Jaffe, Texas women's tennis coach.